It's Montana. Sophia. And today we're gonna film a like differences between the US and Germany. And then we're gonna film it in like different spots all around the castle and outside so that it doesn't get boring. So yeah. Uh, we just want to start off by making a disclaimer that all of the differences that we mentioned, none of them are bad or good, and they're also very specific to where we are right now in Bad Lasva because it's a really small town. Uh, so we don't want anyone's feelings to get hurt over the generalizations that we're making about Germany. It's just simply things that we've observed here. Uh, our first difference that we have is that people in Germany like to hang up their clothes because it's a lot more uh, like environmentally friendly and here we'll show you So like we have clothes being hung up instead of using the dryer and We're not sure if this is all of Germany But we asked some of our counselors and they said that it's definitely more common to hang dry your laundry here than it is in the US we're now out by the shed because our next difference is that your water bottle and then after you drink it you have to return it because they put the water bottles back in this like machine thing and it gives them money back 25 cents per bottle yeah well some some cans are like eight cents but it's really cool because that way people are like not forced to recycle but they want Motivated. to this is the pure natural water the red cap and then so red is natural this is like medium sparkling and then and this is the blue spring ones. oh yeah and then blue is really heavy sparkling we're here this is piper and ella and they're gonna talk about the differences in german fashion <laughs> okay the german guys dress a lot more like feminine in terms like in the way an American would think. They wear like really tight jeans, yeah. v-neck. Like, and they roll their shorts up to where they're like shorter, mm -hmm. whereas in America, guys' shorts like hang above the knee. Yeah. Bars. Thank you. Bye. Bye. This is June, and she's gonna talk about AC in Germany. There's no AC. But it's so okay. No, it's actually not so bad because you open up the windows and you have like fresh air. See, there's so many windows. And they're like all their lights are like motion sensor. Yeah, yeah that's true. But so you'll be taking, <laughs> like, you'll be doing your business in the bathroom, and then the lights will go off, and so you just have to do your business in the dark. But it's better for the environment. It's better for the environment. <laughs> What's your difference? <laughs> the cappuccinos are better. In general, the coffee so is good. really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's significantly better. German water. coffee for the world. <laughs> Another difference is that there are bees everywhere in Germany. Like everywhere we've gone, they just fly around and I'm so afraid of bees, but you just have to get used to it. And only one person has actually gotten stung, but it's still like in the US, I just feel like there aren't that many bees and that's definitely a bad thing. So the cars here are um, significantly smaller than the US. <laughs> they actually are. Like, I, it's hard to tell it even look based like on it our video, five people. Like it's, but it's like they're very small. small. And like in the US you see a lot of like trucks and like SUVs and stuff and like you don't see that. Anymore. Yeah, I think we've seen maybe like, two see, like, trucks. These big vans. They're a lot like, more compact. Like yeah, these big vans are just for taxis and the average car is just much smaller. Okay, so our next difference, I'm getting out German money, is that their Euro coins are worth like a dollar or two dollars. I don't know if I have the two dollar one. I only have the one dollar one right now but you can pay for things like with these coins and it's just so weird because in the US our highest coin is like 25 cents so you don't really think a lot about the coins you're saving but here uh, you use coins really often to pay and the smallest bill is a five. And, and what else? Size of oh, bills. Oh yeah, the size of each bill is different so you can like tell. <laughs> and that's so smart because in the US they're all the same size. And I'm Miranda. I'm Jack. I'm and what do you think is different about Germany versus the U.S.? You said it. <laughs> oh, they're really punctual, and everybody in the U.S. is late, like all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Here they make us sing if we're late. Yeah, except they don't make us do it anymore. Nobody's had to do it. Because everybody's like singing mad. like the weirdest song. And everyone's always late. Yeah, everyone's late. <laughs> <laughs> true. There's no ice here. All the drinks are lukewarm. Is that making you sad? Yeah, I really want ice. <laughs> Same. And like, you have to ask for still water. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all bubbly if you don't ask. Okay, this is one of our teamers, Inkin. <laughs> so 
in Germany, people like to listen like a lot of dance music, which you can like go nuts to. Yeah, that. like the EDM in the US. I'll show you some of the differences between the bathrooms. So this is the bathroom. They're super nice here. Yes. But in the in Germany, the stalls are like rooms, and you go in, and you're like in your own little room, and you close it. And you can't see the ground from anyone. There's so much more privacy. And then another difference is that their toilets have way less water. Uh, you can't really see it well. But they have way less water than in the US. And a lot of the flushing things, there aren't handles, they're just buttons. And it was like this, not just in the castle, but also in public places and the airport. There are a lot of windows here, but in the US, most people have bug screens which like keeps the bugs from going into your room even when you have the windows open but that's not really common here so our like window like you just can reach out and it's a long way down deodorant here is kind of different well like they have deodorant that's pretty close to what we use in the u.s like roll the stick on. um and roll on but they also have these which are it says dove Go fresh. It's like aerosol Zero. spray. It's like an aerosol spray deodorant. I'm not really sure if it works that well. It smells really good. It's like perfume. But it like feels like I'm just putting on perfume. Last thing that I forgot to mention, so sorry I changed, uh, but this one drink, I don't know what to call it yet in German, it's really popular and it's a soda and it's basically Fanta. This is just like a Fanta bottle, as you can see. But it's Fanta mixed with Coke and it's like orange Coke. I tried it, I didn't really like it, but I'm not a big fan of orange soda anyway, but a lot of people here really like it. And I, I've never heard of that in the US before. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, subscribe. Um, yeah. yeah, we hope you like hearing about the differences between Germany and the US. And if you have any other ideas for videos, leave them in the comment section below.